I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I would like to show you an interesting neuroophthalmology case of uh, this uh, 50 years old male who was referred to us by a neurosurgeon. He had a history of severe headaches for the last one month but for the last few days along with headaches he developed binocular deep lopia and ptosis of the right eye so when i examined the patient uh, there was right ptosis mild to moderate degree and the right eye was unable to adduct fully and unable to move inferiorly so medial rectus and inferior rectus were defective so there was incomplete third nerve paralysis in the right eye and along with headaches i suspected aneurysmal third nerve palsy but the pupil was reactive and fundus was normal now that's the patient and you can see that the right eye is not able to fully adapt both eyes can go fully in the right gaze superiorly inferiorly right eye is also not able to move fully so incomplete third nerve palsy with headaches so we ordered MRI to look for aneurysmal cause of third nerve because uh, because of headaches but pupil is usually involved in such cases on MRI it came out pituitary tumor involving cavernous sinus and third nerve you can clearly see here the hyper intense uh, round mass uh, the cellar mass uh, in the cella and uh, fortunately the visual fields were uh, confrontation visual fields were normal so here you can clearly see on the axial MRI scans the hyper intense mass on CT scan first CT scan was done and there was a mass as well and then it was confirmed with MR with contrast so that's a, a rare instance of pituitary tumor involving third nerve in the cavernous sinus so whenever you get a patient with headaches and the third nerve palsy you should always check the pupil and if the pupil is involved then most probably it is a pupil involving aneurysmal third nerve palsy you can see on indirect ophthalmoscopy the fundus is absolutely normal of both eyes and if there is an incomplete third nerve involvement and severe headaches uh, it may be due to some other cause like pituitary tumor in this case so we advised pituitary function tests and referred the patient to neurosurgeon because further workup and management is required so that was an interesting case of pituitary tumor along with third nerve paralysis. Thank you very much.